I am here today to formally announce charges against Mr. David DePap in connection with the violent attack on Mr. Pelosi. The charges that we are filing today include attempted murder, residential burglary, assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, false imprisonment of an elder, as well as threats to a public official and their family. Mr. DePap specifically targeted the Pelosi home to confront Speaker Pelosi. He forced his way into the home through a rear glass door by breaking that glass. The defendant made his way upstairs to the second floor of the home, locating Mr. Pelosi in his bed sleeping. He woke him up, confronting him about the whereabouts of Speaker Pelosi. He was forced to get out of bed, and at some point during that encounter, Mr. Pelosi attempted to access the elevator in the home, which has a phone. The defendant then blocked Mr. Pelosi's access to that elevator. It was at some point after that Mr. Pelosi asked to go to the bathroom, which is where he was able to call 911 from his cell phone. Two police officers arrived at the front door two minutes after that 911 call. When that door was opened, the defendant was holding his hammer, which Mr. Pelosi appeared to be attempting to control by holding a portion of that hammer. The defendant then pulled the hammer away from Mr. Pelosi and violently struck him in the top of his head. The police then immediately apprehended the defendant. What we also have learned is that the defendant brought to the location of the Pelosi residence a second hammer, as well as zip ties, rope, and a roll of tape. What is clear based on the evidence that we have thus far is that this house and the speaker herself were specifically targets of the defendant. One last thing that I want to say today is that as leaders and as citizens, it is incumbent upon us all to watch the words that we say and to turn down the volume of our political rhetoric. We should be able to all engage in passionate political discourse, but still remain respectful of one another. Violence certainly has no place in San Francisco or in politics. So at this time, it's unclear which of the men opened the door. And uh, we are also still fleshing out how many times he was struck in the head. Of course, it's always uh, paramount that the correct facts uh, be in the public. We, of course, do not want distorted facts floating around, um, certainly not in a manner that is further traumatizing a family that's already been traumatized enough given the nature of this incident. Um, and so that's why it's of paramount importance. Yes, it appears as though this was based on his statements um, and comments that were made in that house during his encounter with Mr. Pelosi that this was politically motivated. Uh, currently, he's facing 13 to life. Thank right, you. We really appreciate everyone's time and attention, and we know you have to all go file your stories and get on, do the things.